boom. Having a pregnant mother exposed to LPS changes the fetuses, the male fetuses, testosterone. Inflammation, both acute and chronic, is associated with testosterone deficiency. Let's talk about these scientific research papers. Further information, more information about how testosterone is, might be lowering in your case and how to fix it. Got a paper here from 2017 in a journal called the American Journal of Physiology, Endocrinology, and Metabolism. The paper is called Endotoxin Initiated Inflammation. Endotoxins, those are toxins that are secreted by bad gut bacteria. Endotoxin initiated inflammation reduces testosterone production in men of reproductive age. Drops your testosterone. This is something nobody's talking about. That's why I'm interested in it. You know, yeah, people are talking about testosterone lowering in dietary things, supplemental things. And we'll talk about that in a, in a couple upcoming episodes because I'm interested in that. But endotoxins, what are those? Well, again, inflammation, they say associated with testosterone deficiency. One potential trigger for inflammation, this is all just quoting from here from this paper, trigger for inflammation is the passage of intestinal bacteria into the circulation due to breakdown in mucosal barrier integrity. What does that mean? It means your gut bacteria, you've got leaky gut, you know? Remember, that's just one cell thick, your intestine. One cell thick. And yeah, you've got some mucus, and then you've got bacteria. And what happens is that mucus is breaking down. We've got these poor diets, these inflammatory diets oftentimes, full of whole grain goodness and you know other things that are causing problems. You end up with gut bacteria in your circulation, in your blood. One potential trigger for this inflammation, blah, blah, blah. And by the way, next episode we'll talk about stress. We'll talk about inflammation and how that relates to testosterone. Because there's different kinds of inflammation, there's different kinds of stress. It's important to kind of be precise in that conversation. But for today, got, you got bacteria in your blood, you know? And they say this may cause androgen deficiency, testosterone deficiency. To test this hypothesis, we analyze the relationship between serum levels of LPS, lipopolysaccharide binding protein, LPB actually is what they're looking at, but whatever, LPS, that's one of these cell wall components, bad bacteria. Um, against male reproductive hormones, inflammatory markers, and fat, adiposity. So they say adiposity, in other words, obesity, was positively correlated with endotoxins. You know, when you're too obese, increases inflammation, increases these bad bacteria in your blood. Um, and inflammation was negatively correlated with testosterone. So the more obese you are, the lower your testosterone was. The more inflammation you had, the lower your testosterone was. And in a second interventional study, they said, low dose endotoxin challenge in lean men. So not just fat, they didn't just look at uh, people that are obese. They looked at lean men and that produced a transient inflammatory response followed by a decline in serum testosterone. So whether you're obese or whether you're lean, if you've got LPS, lipopolysaccharide, gut bacteria from bad bacteria in your gut leaking into your blood from leaky you know intestines leaky gut it's lowering your testosterone and just to further bolster that argument i've got a paper here from 2018 from basically april in the molecular and it's march 31st 2018 in the molecular and cellular endocrinology journal this paper is called maternal LPS, lipopolysaccharide, exposure, maternal. So we're talking about pregnant mothers. Maternal LPS exposure results in glucose metabolism disorders and sex hormone imbalance in male offspring. Boom. Having a pregnant mother exposed to LPS changes the fetuses, the male fetuses, testosterone. And that's pretty much what they say. They say, not only, they say adverse intrauterine environment a bad environment when you're in the womb contributes to type 2 diabetes later in life. We've talked a lot about that in previous episodes, how you know exposures of chemicals in your womb in, when you're in the womb 
really problematic, causes future generation problems too. But the present study investigated maternal LPS exposure during the third trimester on number one, glucose, and number two, on sex hormones. So they looked at all these sex hormones. What did they find? And by the way, these are pregnant mice. They're, they're looking at, they're not looking at people because they're, they're injecting them with LPS. Male offspring exhibited glucose intolerance. So males were, they had problems, you know, with metabolism and problems with their testosterone and aromatase. So breaking down estrogen. So that's the big finding. They didn't find that in the female offspring, just in the male offspring. So really interesting finding. Most people are overlooking it. My kids are making noise upstairs, so I got to go. But we'll talk next time about stress and testosterone. <laughs>